Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of a brand new pandemic. <sighs> this is worse than the one in 2020. China. We're seeing lapses in concentration, decreasing physical and psychological resilience. We're seeing excuses being made left, right and centre. Ladies and gentlemen, that virus is the bitcher virus. Yeah. There's been a mass increase in the amount of bitches in this world. What's more worrying is they're coming from coaches. Mm -hmm. Coaches, people that are being paid money by other people to improve their health. <sighs> Something needs to be done. Right now, today, and I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna lead the revolution, ladies and gents, to eradicate the bitcher virus. We're gonna put a stop to these coaches thinking it's acceptable to consume ultra processed foods on a daily basis. We're gonna put a stop to these coaches that think it's acceptable now and again to binge on food and not train. No, 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 no. <laughs> This is mental, what a skit, what an open to a skit this is. You are right, you lot? I haven't lost it, I'm far from it, I found it. Uh, so, today's video is in homage to the debates. I've been, I mean, they're not debates, I open up the discussion, then I get called a keyboard warrior and I just think I'm left there thinking, I just want to debate you, bruv. But it's in homage to discussions that I've had over these last few days and weeks with regard to ultra processed foods and how it seems to be common uh, practice uh, and, and that we've normalized daily consumption of it and so many coaches. Uh, we've mollycoddled and cushioned a society to believe that it's okay to, to be weak, in my opinion. And, and uh, what is being met with the argument against those that are saying we need to eradicate ultra processed foods and artificial sweeteners and emulsifiers and whatnot what's met with that is well it's not a ch it's not attainable you know whole foods no no you're telling me i'm supposed to go into a supermarket pick up whole foods cook it and eat it that is completely unachievable get real so today we're going to go through a full day of eating whereby we are not going to be consuming any emulsifiers we're not going to be consuming any ultra processed foods we're not going to be consuming any junk really Okay, so as, as good as it is me sitting on social media and saying we shouldn't be eating these foods, I also need to back up and say, well, let's educate and say we and, and show you guys and girls that we can actually eat these foods and there's no issue at all. Okay, so I this is being filmed on Thursday, the 18th of April. I'm going to go to Waitrose now. But you can go to Tesco if you want because you're scum and I'm not. No, I'm joking. You could just go to uh, any supermarket, obviously, but I, I shop in Waitrose because uh, I am better than you lot. So, <laughs> uh, you know, no, I actually like shopping in Waitrose because I think the organic produce in there and, uh, well, there's not any scum in there. You know, I walk down the aisles and I think, this is lovely. I walk in Tesco and I was attacked. Yeah, verbally and physically. So <laughs> I'm not going back there anymore, no chance. Enjoy this uh, non, yeah, let's use it. Let's, do, let's enjoy this non-toxic full day of eating. Okay, ladies and gents, what's very important is that you don't go into the supermarket blind. It's a, a... Big cocaine addiction next door. <laughs> What's important is that we don't go into the supermarket blind because it's a complete catastrophe. We need to be in a position whereby we've either used books or Google, type in non-ultra processed meal ideas and then rip the ingredients from them. So what I do every Sunday is I plan out on my fitness pile what foods I'm consuming throughout the week and keep those meals consistent. When you're looking at the variable of nutrition, try to keep it consistent. It's what I say to my clients as well because it gives us a a good indication of digestion, it good, gives us a good indication of where scale weight's going, etc. So try it within the first phase or throughout the diet. I know people, or the vast majority of people like to just say, right, I'm having these meals from Monday to Sunday and I'm keeping that consistent and then my variety comes from each week. It removes that 
diet fatigue of getting to the end of the day and going, oh God, I've got 10 grams of carbs left and 30 protein, or something like that. Just eradicate that. Let's, let's get rid of uh, macro fillers. It works for some people, that's absolutely fine. Crack on if it works for you and you enjoy it, then happy days. But I often notice that when I ate like that, there's always a tendency to have a little bit more, you know? When I have my 10 grams of chocolate, I'm always having a bit of that 20 grams of chocolate. So as an example, just a few books that I've got here. You can go to Waterstones. Mob Kitchen's really good. I quite like Courtney D. Black's uh, work, I suppose. Joe Wicks, can't, can't have him in, cancelled, said that uh, ultra processed foods was the cause of ADHD. Get in the bin, Joe! Get in the bin! Jamie Oliver, five, this is a good one. He's got a couple of these. His most recent one is the Mediterranean diet, which I'm sort of semi following at the moment. Jamie Oliver, sort of clawed it back, five ingredients, really, really good. Mr. Wicks again, get out. That's, and then pinch and numb, really good as well. So, this is what we'll do. Best life one, two, three, you're back in the room. So my macro nutrient target at the moment is 180 protein, 250 carb, and around about 80 grams of fat. So I've sat here and had a look through these books and think, oh yeah, I fancy that. So a bit of spicy Turkish scrambled eggs for breakfast, then my regular oats, then have some bok choy, like a stir fry for lunch. Snack, I'll show you my snack. Get rid of the Rice Krispie square bars, these are even better incorporate my snack with my dates and dark chocolate. And then for dinner, we'll just have some nice and simple sweet potato loaded with wedges with some mince. So I'll sit here, put all of that data into my fitness pal, make some adjustments, make some tweaks. Yeah, sure, it may take a few minutes, but if I consume that food every single day and I hit my targets, then that's me done. I don't then have to pick up my phone. Every Sunday, I've sat down with my fitness pal and I know what foods I'm being, can, I'm, consuming and that's it. So it's not like a daily occurrence where I'm like, oh my God, I've got to do that and then scan that in. It's there. So if I need to revert back and go, actually how many grams of oats am I having? Oh, 50 grams. All right, perfect. Okay, I'm going to go to Waitrose now and then I shall see you tomorrow for a full day of eating. Right, ladies and gents, time for a non-ultra processed breakfast. Half the check-in's done, it's time for some food. My last meal was at 6 p.m. and it is now about 20 past 10. So now, as you know, I've got U UC, ulcerative colitis. There's some foods in here that I'm having to forfeit. It's what I'm doing for you lot. I care about you so much. I'm gonna be eating some foods that I know aren't great for my stomach, but just for the sake of the video, we're gonna eat them anyway. I've banged a, a couple of digestive enzymes, Dr. Dean's, which usually helps me out anyway. So for breakfast, we are gonna have some oats with walnuts, banana. I really, I prefer, I prefer frozen berries because when you blitz them in the microwave, it turns into almost like a really nice jam. So I, I tend to go frozen raspberries, banana, some walnuts, and then we've got some non-pasteurized raw organic honey. This is from the, Herbivore, you can get it from your local farm. And then we've got pip and nut. I really do like pip and nut. No palm oil in pip and nut. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some Turkish eggs. So we're gonna have scrambled eggs with some tomatoes, green pepper, and some paprika. And then I've got a little bit of uh, lactose-free Greek feta cheese here. You can have regular feta if you want. I'm also using gluten-free, gluten-free porridge oats because I'm a big oat eater and a big reduction in my symptoms recently has been through going slightly more gluten-free, and these have been a game changer. I do have to blitz these, so I blend them in the, in the Nutribullet, and then I cook them, all right? Let's get cracking. Tom, careful, you're working with nightshades here, mate. Start by cutting up half a green pepper and some tomatoes. How I've perfected my oats is a three to one ratio. So one part oats, three part water, 50 grams of oats equals 150 mil or grams of water. Fry off your tomatoes and green pepper, chuck your egg in, half a teaspoon of paprika, and then Ramsey method on off, on off, keep it moving. One minute on the oats, you'll see the consistency in a second, but cut up some bananas, give the raspberries a blast, they're only 30 seconds, and then begin to plate. I've got some feta cheese here and also some fresh coriander, and that is meal number one. That is delightful. So we've got three eggs scrambled, Turkish, am I insulting any Turkish people by calling them Turkish eggs? Free eggs scrambled, a little bit of feta, tomato, green pepper, and we've got some organic oats with some walnuts, 
raspberries and some banana. A little bit of nut butter on there too. Good protein, good fats, good carbs. It is 10 to 11 now. I'm gonna do the rest of my check-in, then have my little pre-workout snack that I'm sure many of you will appreciate. And then we'll head into the gym for today's push session. If you're an almond croissant addict, this almond croissant breakfast banana bread is for you. Let's be honest, we're all in- So an almond and banana cake, not a croissant, because there's no croissant in there. Tell me where the croissant is in there. I love a croissant. I can't eat it no more because of this fucking thing that I've got. Oh, that's right. Just my clients. Just one of my many clients that I get shredded. Go on the lads. Go on the lads. Go on the lads. And if you want some online coaching, link is in bio. Back to that croissant. I ain't a croissant. That's a cake. Pre-workout snack. I know quite a few like the old Rice Krispie Square bar, the chocolate ones. Oof. I love them. They are fantastic. But we're doing no ultra processed. So what we've got here is some dates in some dark chocolate. The dark chocolate I use is the absolute black from Waitrose. Ingredients. Cocoa solids, 100%. Nothing else. So do the old school trick when you're at school. Boiling water, glass bowl, 20 grams of chocolate, melt it, then dip your dates in, and then add a little bit of the nut butter. Yeah. Whoa, that's the first time I've had them. Mm. Well, so if you are craving a sweet treat and don't want to eat ultra processed, plenty of options. Right, check-in's done. I'm gonna go and train now, come back post-workout, then we'll head into the office to get implant startups done. Suppers. Okay, just putting up the My Fitness Pal. Post workout, we have 100 grams of rice. If you press the time, then obviously you get some packet, but. Mm, I'm such a child. Or just cook a big lump of it on Sunday and then meal prep for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as an example. But I've got some organic. Basmati rice, some pak choy, you got chicken, some plums, and then Chinese five spice, and then just some gluten-free soy sauce. Let's eat, because I'm very hungry. Make sure you wash that rice, rice baby. Huh? Declan, one of a sign in that. Big game Sunday, boys, Spurs. Oh, we're going to do it. So wash the rice. Ratios we're working with here are one part rice to 1.5 part water. 100 grams of rice. 150 ml of water. We bring that to the boil and then turn the heat down for about eight to 10 minutes and let it cook. A bit of fire spice on the chicken, chop up your pok choy, your plums, get it into the mix with the chicken. And then once the rice is cooked, add that into the, to the pan as well. Splash of soy sauce and then you've got yourself a really easy, convenient, non ultra processed lunch there. That's light work, that is too easy. I mean, you could easily, for work, you could easily cook that on a Sunday batch it up my selector put it in your glass tupperware and then boom microwave it very simple how many ingredients was that chicken rice pak choy plum soy sauce jamie oliver will be pleased it's 10 to 4 i'm gonna eat this then head into the office for client startups because i like doing it on the big mac it's better not the big mac the big mac and uh then we'll chill this evening Sick. You wanna join me on a live onboarding video? What I'll get up to. Jody, how are you, sir? Hope you've had a nice week. Thank you for your time on our console the other day. 
And as we discussed on that consult, nutrition is going to be our biggest focus over these next 12 weeks. So let's jump into how we're going to structure your plan moving forward. And then basically what I do is I go through their client information and then programming based off of their gym. So usually they'll send me their gym. If they haven't got the equipment online, then I'll get them to do a little video, run through programming, nutrition, optimizing, kind of peri-workout nutrition, meal timings, supplementation, optimization of sleep, wake cycle, sleep hygiene, and then activity steps, cardio, etc., etc. Work week done. I like wrapping up everything on a Friday. I need to spend a little bit more time in the office so that I ain't got to do no bits over Saturday, Sunday, then I'll most certainly do that. It's half past seven. This is quite late for me. Usually I'm eating a little bit earlier than this, maybe like six-ish. So this is a late one. However, dinner we have, we're doing loaded sweet potato wedges. So 350 grams of sweet potato. We'll cut this up, bang it in the oven for about half hour. And then we're just gonna have some mince, use up the red pepper, use up the tomatoes. So when it's important when you are kind of devising your own or your client's meal plans to try and incorporate some foods that you can utilize within the day. So we had tomatoes and green pepper for breakfast. We can use it for dinner as well, add a bit more volume in. Got some kidney beans. And then we just got some, I always find it really hard when getting certain, certain things like this, like puree, whereby they've not got acidity regulators in there. I'm going like super ultra process. None of it, mate. So this one is just organic, 99% organic tomatoes and salt. Let's get to work. Almost too simple this, 300 grams of sweet potato, cut it in half, bit of olive oil, seasoning, put it in the oven for 30 minutes at about 200. And then all you do is you put your, your ingredients, whatever you're using, mince, courgettes, tomatoes, in the mix, kidney beans, and then serve. I mean, it's like, that's idiot proof, that meal. Yeah, go on, do you like that? No, no, look at you dribbling, my man. High five. High five. Good lad. Ladies and gents, that is today's full day of eating non ultra processed. As you have seen, it is most certainly achievable and it is most certainly attainable. Don't let these online coaches brainwash you into thinking that it's acceptable to consume ultra processed foods on a daily basis because of balance. It's ridiculous. We've seen countless papers, and this is what we'll go into because I'm fighting a losing battle by just commenting on these people's Instagrams because they're naive, they've got egos, and they're stubborn. I get it, I understand. Their beloved food is being attacked by individuals online and they feel they've got to protect it and convince themselves that it's okay because of balance. But we're seeing even low consumption of ultra processed foods having impacts on individuals. So plenty more to come. Like I said, I'm going to use my platform as education and raise awareness. I've got a lifelong condition now, unfortunately. So this sort of content is most certainly not going away. That's me done and dusted. This is just a snapshot. We'll be covering plenty more meals and snacks moving forward. Break the mold. Thank you for watching. As always, thank you, good night, and much love.